Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about what is an asset. So when we think of an asset, we think about something that benefits an organization. And in general, I try and break it down uh, kind of like you would see for business definitions and break it down into people, property, and information. Information is really a form of property, but especially for cybersecurity, it needs to be its own category. And before we talk about each of those, let's take a moment and uh, have a question of, a day, of the day. Uh, today's question is going to be, what type of asset do you think is the hardest to protect? So <clears throat> in cybersecurity in general, what to you is the hardest to kind of wrap your head around how you would protect uh, people, property, or the information? Leave uh, your answer and we'll uh, discuss in the comments below. Okay, so as we talk about people, uh, break that down into categories. We've got employees. Uh, most companies will have some employees. <clears throat> and so that's one group you're trying to protect. Uh, you've got customers. Customers, uh, customer data you're constantly trying to protect. Uh, you can also have contractors, and if you have a contractor working for you, even though it may not be an employee of your organization, you're still responsible for uh, information security, <clears throat> you know, that the contractors might have access to. And then finally, depending on the business, you could have guests, and any information that you get from your guests, you're also responsible for. So... As we think about people, this is just some of the ways. There's probably a few other categories we could add, but for this discussion, that's a pretty good overview. Next, we have property. And property, I try and break down into two different categories. You have tangible property or intangible property. So tangible is anything you can touch. And in this case, you could think computers, servers, network equipment. But also try and think outside the realm of just purely IT infrastructure. Uh, think about any of the other things that could also be on the network. Think about building management, HVAC, cameras, things that maybe don't fall solely under the purview of IT, but are definitely used in that they are connected to the network, they could be accessed and they have to be protected. And then on the other side, we have intangible property. These are things obviously not physical, but have a real value for an organization. Uh, first, intangible uh, property is going to be information. We're going to talk about that in just a second. But it could also be something like a company's reputation uh, and how that could be affected after a cyber attack. It could be proprietary information. So maybe your company has secrets that you're trying to protect, uh, patents, things like that. And it could also be something like client experience. <clears throat> a cyber attack could be simply a DDoS attack on uh, servers providing a web page during a major sales event, say Black Friday. If clients have a poor experience, it could cost a company hundreds of millions of dollars. And then finally, as we think about assets, uh, we think about information. And this is anything that the organization owns uh, that has a value. And this could be databases, company records, uh, software code. If, you know, imagine writing a piece of software and having the code released. I know Samsung recently had... Uh, major portions of their code released and the effect that can have on an organization. And then most companies are going to have some form of customer and that customer information usually is required by law to be kept safe. So you have things like personally, identif personally identifiable information. Uh, health information is a huge one. Billing information. So if you're collecting that information, it's the organization's responsibility to keep it secure. And that pretty much wraps up the various forms of information that could be <clears throat> kept by an organization. 
And thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.